air and its components. Air consists of various components like water vapor, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, dust and smoke. Water vapor Air comprises of water vapor. When water is subjected to heat, it changes into water vapor and mixes in air. They condense into water drops when it comes in contact with cool surfaces. Oxygen Oxygen is an essential component of air that is used by animals and human beings for the process of respiration. It is also required for combustion. Activity Take two containers and label them A and B. Place a candle in both the containers and fill the container with some water. Light the candles. Take two glass tumblers of varying height and invert them over the candles. We may observe that the candle placed under the smaller tumbler blows off with an increase in water level inside the tumbler, while the candle in other tumbler keeps burning. This happens because more oxygen was available in A as compared to B. The rise in water level shows the oxygen used by the burning candle. Nitrogen 78% of the air is filled with nitrogen. Nitrogen is an essential component for growth. But plants or animals cannot directly use it from the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide Carbon dioxide occupies a small percentage of air. Plants utilize carbon dioxide during the day to perform the process of photosynthesis. They release oxygen and clean up the atmosphere. Burning of various materials release carbon dioxide into the air. Dust and smoke Burning of fuel produces smoke. It consists of dust particles and harmful gases. Industries release dust into the atmosphere. Activity You may observe dust in a ray of light in a dark room. Inhalation of such fine particles may cause a disturbance in the nose. The dust with suspended particles is dangerous to birds flying high in the sky. These dust particles combine with fog during winters and form smoke. Smoke covers the roads and causes disturbance to vehicles. Air is a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor, dust particles, etc. Is air present everywhere around? Let us try to prove this fact by performing a small activity.
our atmosphere comprises of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and water vapour. Air occupies space. It fills in the empty vessel and containers. An activity. Take an empty glass tumbler and observe it. Can you find something inside it? No? Turn the glass tumbler upside down and tip it in tub full of water. Does the air get inside the tumbler? No. Just tilt the tumbler. And we can see the bubbles coming out of the tumbler. Now what is really inside the tumbler? It is the air inside the tumbler. Air occupies space inside the tumbler. 